right guys, what is going on here at the Trevi Fountain? The basin is dry, there's this giant walkway, uh, there's a pool where you can throw coins. The Trevi Fountain is definitely not its usual self. Is this how we're meant to see the Trevi Fountain from now on? Are they going to start charging a fee? What is happening? Actually, there are two things going on, so let's break it down. The first thing that's going on is this temporary situation. The last time the Trevi Fountain had any maintenance done was when the Rome fashion house Fendi did a massive 17-month restoration in 2014 and 2015. So suffice to say that it is long overdue. On top of that, as many of you know, the 2025 Jubilee is around the corner and many monuments and many fountains are getting makeovers all over Rome. Not all of the fountains and monuments that are being renovated are going to be finished in time, but the Trevi Fountain is undergoing a, an extraordinary maintenance and it is supposed to be finished about two months from now. The reality is that not all of the monuments and fountains will be finished with their restorations by the end of 2024. Some of them will go into early 2025, but most of Rome is going to be absolutely sparkling and beautiful when these renovations are done. So this is just temporary. This is supposed to last about two months from now. And um, this walkway here is purely a temporary solution so that visitors can see the monument up close, which I think is an extraordinary opportunity. No, you can't see the Trevi Fountain in all of its splendor with the water rushing and the lights on, but while this walkway is up, you will be able to get up close to the sculptures and see them from an amazing vantage point. Once the renovations are done, this walkway will come back down. One of the things they've done that's caused a lot of chatter and in fact ridicule online <laughs> is that they've added this little pool where visitors can throw coins. You know, it's very popular to come and throw coins into the Trevi Fountain. There are these myths about throwing coins over one of your shoulders and all this good luck happens. And so people love to toss coins into the Trevi Fountain. And since the basin is completely dry, there's really nowhere to throw coins into. So they've added this pool and yes, people are tossing coins in there. A lot of people are guessing that the coins are to help pay for this restoration, but that's not the case. The coins that get tossed into the Trevi Fountain to the tune of about 3,000 euros per day get collected and given to an organization called Caritas, which is an Italian charity for the needy. And the coins currently being tossed into that little pool are also gonna be going to Caritas. So again, this walkway, the pool, these barricades are all gonna come down when the restoration is complete, hopefully before the end of the year. So then that leads us to the second issue, which is the idea that they're planning to charge a fee to visit the Trevi Fountain. So what is that about and how is it gonna work? And is it confirmed? Discussions about charging a fee to see the Trevi Fountain have actually been in the works for a while. In fall of 2024, the Ministry of Culture, Alessandro Onorato, and Rome's mayor, Roberto Gualtieri, have announced that they are planning to work on a plan to charge a fee here. This has not been confirmed, but they are looking into the viability of doing so. The fee would be a small amount, one to two euros, and it would remain free for Rome residents. Many people ask, well, how are you going to charge a fee for the Trevi Fountain? First of all, this is a tiny square. It's full of shops and people live here. Also for some, it's just outrageous, the idea to charge a fee for a monument that is out in the open. But as many of you know, lately visiting the Trevi Fountain has not been a very pleasurable experience for anyone, even if you come here at three, four, and five o'clock in the morning. If you're wondering why it's so empty right now, it's because it is early November. We are entering into a quieter season and it's seven in the morning. So I've come down here at a temporarily quieter time. I've always told you that winter is a great time to visit Rome because yes, the crowds do thin out, Jubilee or no Jubilee. Now we're not in winter yet, this is uh, early November, but as you can see, it's a lot quieter than it has been over the summer. So how is this fee going to work? These are the ideas being floated. And again, remember, this is not confirmed. This is just something they're going to start trying in 2025. So in early 2025, what they're going to do is put a kind of a walkway down where the basin is. So down below um, at the bottom of the steps that passageway will be controlled. They're going to try to limit the number of visitors entering that passageway 
with no fee at the beginning. Anyone and everyone can still come to where I'm standing, which is above the steps, and see the Chubby Fountain from above. But to get down to where the basin is, this is where they're trying to limit the crowds and limit the damage. Why damage? Because this is a delicate monument. It is hundreds of years old. And also, people come here, they bring food, they drop food and drink, and this causes further damage to the monument. So to try to mitigate that, they are going to just limit who can get up close to the basin, and that's what this is all about. If that does work, they're going to try to implement a one to two euro fee that you'll have to purchase online. There are not gonna be ticket booths here in the square. They're likely going to need people to man this walkway, probably on either end. The idea is to let people who've paid the fee go onto the walkway, spend maximum half an hour, and then leave on the other side. So it'll be a one directional walkway. But once you've paid that nominal fee and entered the walkway, you will be able to get up close to the basin and take all the selfies, photos, and video that you want to. Normally it doesn't take more than a few minutes to visit and see the Chevy Fountain, but I think it's all of the photo taking that takes a while. So allowing half an hour on that walkway, I think is pretty generous. So the walkway is not gonna look like this. This is just for now while they're doing these renovations. We don't know exactly what that walkway is gonna look like. It hopefully will be very unobtrusive. As I said, this is not confirmed, but they are gonna start working on it in 2025. As you know, I will bring you this news when there is concrete news and when there is something to show you. So what do you guys think? Is this a terrible idea, a great idea? Do you agree? Drop me a line in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And of course, in early 2025, when there is something concrete to tell you, and when there's something that I can show you, I will be back to update you on this situation. Meanwhile, if you wanna learn about the fountain, the history, what all the sculptures mean, check out my dedicated video right here.